Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Have you ever tried to view your media that you've currently got sitting on one of your computers in your home network, uh, whether it's running Mac OS X, Windows, some flavor of Linux, or whatever? Have you ever tried viewing that through your television? Well, to do that, you could either connect your computer to your television, in which case you're probably going to get a lackluster experience, or you could use software that was specifically designed to be a media portal for all the media that you've collected out there on the web or collected on the computer or what have you. Where do you begin? Well, you may be using software that comes with your computer. You may have downloaded software. Uh, and if you've ever used open source software before, you know that there are a lot of open source packages available for you to use. You just don't know where to begin. And when it comes to experiencing your media, at least through a, a media portal software experience, you want something that's going to fit your needs. But how do you know what your needs are? Well, maybe you do, but there's so many options out there. Where do you begin? Don't buy anything, okay? That, that's, that's, that's what I'm gonna begin with here. Don't buy anything, because what I'm about to explain to you is how you can discover which open source media software is going to work for you before you even install it. Our friend Giovanni, he's a geek, and in fact, you can find him at telematicsfreedom.org. He happens to be the program director uh, for the uh, Telematics Freedom Foundation. And he just emailed me today with a link to the website, and he says, hey, we just released this PDF that has a comparison chart between 10 open source media center packages. And packages would mean like software. And some of them uh, actually come bundled with an operating system like an all-in-one distro, and some of them are standalone with or without a PBR. And it, this one happens to be highlighting Boxy. You might remember Boxy from Gnome Dex they presented there. Uh, that, in my opinion, would fit me best because it's, it's a great crossover between social media and the media that I already have. Center Stage and Plex, Elisa or Elisa, Entertainer, Freevo, Media Portal, My Media System, Myth TV, Neuros OSD, XMBC. Oh yeah, did you even know that all of those things existed? If you did, I'd be surprised. And if you knew the differences between all of them, I'd be even more surprised because it's complex. It's so complex, this comparison chart was made where he's comparing it on when the project started, what does it run on, is there a live CD, uh, it, does it work with the built-in hard drive, uh, video player and handling, uh, DVD ripping, burning DVDs, audio player and handling, uh, supports multiple TV tuner cards, full HD support, video encoding, voice over IP, games, web browsing, email. The list goes on and on. And this comparison chart will explain everything, whether it's available, what's available, and if they're working on it. I tell you, if you've had a bad experience with your media center software, either on your computer or through the television, download this PDF because maybe you're missing something. You probably didn't even, like I said, even know all these things existed. And the best part is, it's open source. So it's not going to cost you a thing. And yes, in theory, you could run all these uh, media centers. I mean, you could run them at the same time. I wouldn't recommend that. But I'm saying you could install and use all of them. Because it's just accessing your media in a different way. That's all. So now you know where to start. Again, if you head over right now to the webs their website, and we'll be sure to link it in the show notes. Sorry, I, I popped in my widgets there. Telematicsfreedom.org. The PDF should be available. This is version 1.0, and I got to tell you, awesome. I am so impressed with this. Uh, I expect it to continue to expand with different revisions. Uh, I would like to see that this PDF potentially live somewhere on the web permanently as its own website. Uh, this is very much needed because a lot of people... They don't um, upgrade the software that comes on their computer. Uh, they, uh, they think that that's the only software that they can use uh, to view photos, listen to music, uh, watch videos, every, you know, everything you can think of in the media sphere. Um, it's a challenge to explain to people, no, you can use different software. And it's an even a greater challenge to tell them you can use software that's better and it won't cost you a thing. And you, it's, just try it. Download the PDF. We'll be sure to link it. You got to thank Giovanni because if it wasn't for him, I would not have discovered this. And I know if you're a software geek like me, if you're a media geek like me, you're going to appreciate this PDF. And certainly I'm looking forward to everything else that the Telematics Freedom Foundation is going to be working on. They did an excellent job with this. Share it with your friends. Let them know that media center software doesn't have to cost them a thing. And they can use exactly what they need. So no more, well, I think this is the best. No, it's not, this is the best software out there. It's, 
this is the best software that suits your needs. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Please drop me a line if you've got interesting uh, things for me to look at. Maybe you're working on something, a project or what have you. Um, drop me a line. Like I said, I'm always online. <laughs> sometimes playing with my media, sometimes uh, creating media like I'm doing right now. Sometimes hanging out with geeks. Uh, we've got geeks.perillo.com uh, that's uh, available. Uh, that's uh, you know, a community of all sorts of geeky goodness. And uh, we've also got this chat room, and you never really know what people are going to say in the chat room, and I hesitate to scroll back and look what people were saying because we kept the chat room unmoderated, which we are prone to do at times. We're kind of open in that sense. Uh, you're also welcome to stop by that chat room, which is you know kind of sewn into this video experience, this media experience. I don't think you can get our live video feed or really a direct channel to our videos through any of this Media Center software here. Hmm. Wouldn't that be great to have live video... Uh, the, I would like, here's a challenge to all the open source media software. i tell you which one I'm going to back. The one that has a link that has uh, our URL in it because the chat room and the video is out 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.